welcome back to GeoGuessr Explained. We are going through my World Cup games or my Asia and Pacific games here and taking a look. Um, obviously, we, you rejoin us as we are looking at Lero versus myself, which was the fourth game of the day. At this point, Lero was sitting on zero wins. I was sitting on one. And this was an incredibly tight best of three. It was the one that decided whether I go to the World Cup. If I win this one, I'm basically guaranteed. In fact, I was guaranteed if I won this one. So that's what needed to happen. Um, and I was very nervous, but I honestly felt pretty good going into this one. I had strong mentality. Um, and, you know, just like on, uh, like, yeah, uh, it's, it was a really interesting game. A lot went my way. Um, so let's just get into it here. Me against Lero. Again, the uh, the moving games are probably the ones where we can talk the most. This is probably, in some ways, my biggest blunder of the entire tournament, this this round here. Um, obviously, we have an American flag here, so bear that in mind. Um, but I unfortunately went racing too quickly. Moving um, Lero versus the exact so players. Canadia? Yeah, close, close. Thanks. So, uh, let's get into this first one. Those players. This is an Australian battle. Yes. Yeah. Is that battle for Australia? Let's stand up and look at the big screen. So at this point, I was just trying to. I don't really know. I was trying to get out, out onto a main road. I would say. It's here to hopefully make some good guesses. I think I saw. I think that's a. Hmm. What plate is that? Potentially a Colorado plate. Not too sure. Maybe they should zoom in on the trash cans here to see if they see the city name on the trash can. That's right. So Colorado Trevor calling my Polo tactic here. See? I end up looking, trying to get onto this spin to work out what city name it will be. Um. Mm hmm. <laughs> Lero is going a different route than Zigzag right now. It ends up being uh, what was it called again? And we do see. Oh, we have a. I can't remember what the uh, place name was. It was. It's too blurry here, even on fourteen forty p to read. Um, meanwhile, it's interesting to look at Lero. Lero makes it out to a pretty big clearing here. Uh, did he not see the... Wait, where is the zigzag right now? Yeah, I'm looking in British Columbia. Meanwhile, we had an American flag at spawn. So obviously what confused me was the single yellow line. Uh... No, it doesn't say Oregon. He's in Canada. Speed limit 15. Everything obviously points to US, but I had just assumed based on the landscape and the line that we were just going to be in uh, Canada. 15 seconds left. If you didn't see the flag, that would be... The problem was I've done a bit of traveling in Canada, including right after the tournament, and I did not recognize this place name, which did concern me a bit because it felt like a fairly sizable town. A big... Lero, open your map. Missing. Lero has yet to open his map. Three seconds? Okay, he's what, in the US, but I'm... Round? So Lero goes, unsurprisingly, Montana. Like, if I was going to pick a US state that it looked like, probably would have been Montana as well. Um, and again, super fortunate that this wasn't multipliers because that's over a thousand points of damage Colorado. as far as I remember. Yeah. Okay, uh, yeah. interesting. And this is, a uh, yeah, first round there. So the rest of the duel is incredibly close. I don't really lose too much more health for the rest of the duel. Uh, but neither does Lero. Um, so, <laughs> uh, yeah, that was very, that, that could have really cost me. It really could have. Let's get into the next one. Maybe sometime. Either player information, Trevor, since you are the monster. I'm always a fan of that. Okay, good. Round two. They, they have the redemption arc here. Because it looks like we're going to be back. Okay, so this is a really interesting round where I get to information a lot before Lero. But how was I supposed to know that, right? So I ended up going for the 5k when I could have probably just insta-sent as soon as I got the info. And it would have been, like, really good enough. Um, but, uh, yeah. Okay, let's go. Uh, US. Okay. Forward here. Running it back. It doesn't really look like Colorado. But... You never know. He did call Colorado. Uh, we have these reflectors here, the diamond ones, I think. Um, yeah. Or circular ones, rather. Yeah, Always circular the reflector there. That's common in New Mexico, Colorado, and a few other states. Is that a Colorado? Bo no, I don't think so. I feel like the last time we had one of these tournaments, someone was like, oh, that's Colorado. And I was like, how do you know it's Colorado? They're like, oh, it's a Colorado baller. I was like, oh, I'll, I'll never remember that. But he but did. Okay, here we are. Is. Here I get oh, to the sign. Lero goes a different direction. He's headed north and I was headed... Uh, west or southwest, I guess. So, yeah. 
Clearly, I got to this sign and a lot before the Aurora. It's a Colorado state flag. Okay. Well, Zigzag has found the co we're back to back Colorados here. Um, Lero has yet to find anything, and Zigzag is currently trying to line up the exact. So yeah, I find I find the seventy six. One thing that um, uh, one thing that uh, Lero kept or oh, no, one thing that um, Kodiak kept telling me when I was training. Remember to look at the second road number. Because I found 76, but often I would just be scanning on 76 without, kind of aimlessly, but we had the State Highway 34 there, so I remembered, okay, i got to look for the 34 as well. Here. Meanwhile, Lero has not made it to anything. I did speak very briefly to Lero. And there you go, he finally gets Colorado info there. So, that's unfortunate, just as I lock. Um, if I insta sent, who knows what his region guess would have been, we'll never know. Maybe he could have guessed just as close as me, almost, but yeah. Lero has found the Colorado flag. Just in time. Just in time, indeed. Just in time, yeah. With 10 seconds left now after Zigzag is locked in. Yeah, I was saying... Uh, oh, and he even found the 71. Wow, that was uh, pretty fortunate there. Actually. After Lee Rose last match, I did have a chance to briefly chat to him. And uh, he remarked on the fact that, yeah, not the biggest fan of moves. Uh, and there we go. So, yeah, I didn't even realize that Lero had found the road number. I got to the better signage there. That's that's moving for you. But there's other rounds in this duel where Lero gets the better signage. Much before I do. Uh, says, uh, oh, that's a great guess by Zigzag. Not, not a direct quote. Oh, speaking of which, this is this round. So, here Lero gets this road number immediately, and I very much struggle with it. Yeah, Lero, Lero. Point started kind of playing moving, I think, so more recently, just to try and get the upper edge in this tournament here. But, yeah, both players here, not... Uh, not their strong suit. Okay, so that green sign there, and that's just the cycling sign, but Lero goes the other direction and immediately ends up with the uh, town name as well as the shield. So Lero is not a moving player, not at all. Um, and he, like, with, with that first digit, you can already get, like, the quarter of Hungary, basically, as far as I remember. Um, and Lero... Like, just doesn't really guess. It didn't end up affecting the round much because... Uh, Toro, thank you for the sub. Um, because uh, I didn't get to info, but it could have. If I got to info afterwards, which I very nearly did, uh, my, my moving skills, like, I wasn't able to s swiftly get down the road like I would have liked to. But, um, yeah, fortunately, or, you know, it could have been great because Lyra took a while to look for where it was. He eventually did get the 5k. But, uh, yeah. Okay, let's head through. That's okay. Lero finding information here first. And there we go. So, fairly good signage found by Lero here. Hungry. I'll actually just skip forward, because I actually don't find anything. I just go racing down just the road. Now, Trevor. Uh, 25 we'll seconds, out. I place my marker. I don't know what I was In looking for at this it point. Looks like scanning for yeah i should have just been i should have uh, just kept have going the best guess here by lero lero's yeah lero's still in the wrong part of the country and at the last minute finds the town name i think exactly it's just south of so i got to this this roundabout this roundabout definitely had info but we have seven seconds or what, nine seconds to go i need a roundabout here maybe more information and here and i needed to get something i switched coverage i feel like if i was still gen 4 i might have been able to get it but then look four seconds left and time was up. I, oh, there we had it. We had the place name with zero, zero to go. How unfortunate. Um, definitely could have. I mean, this was the other biggest damage I took for the whole duel, I think. And it goes zero, zero, five Ks Good and what? A thousand Lero. points, right? Very solid. 1.2. Double damage. So there we go. 13, five. I think at 3,500, I think I pretty much played well for the rest of this duel, but that was bad. Um, and uh, Lyra manages to get there right at the end. It's a big hit. Looking at I just clicked middle, I have no idea where I was. For the Next one here, okay, this is a round with a funny backstory because I was in the practice room with the Asian guys um, just before just before I played this best of three or like just in the morning, in the morning of these games. And I was asking about this road. I asked uh, Sheena or Spaghetti, I forget who, what color i mean no what driving direction the road was and they told me it drives west East. so yeah. we head forward here oh, yeah. not sure to the round and i realize it is the light blue car and it's driving 
southwest, as you can see. Maybe it's and then the we had this way, kind of pole. In Western Australia. This kind of pole here is like the South Australian pole top, but you sometimes get it in New South Wales. And I remember from the old coverage that you would get this one on the uh, on the on that same road right near the border. So I pretty much knew where this one was, but I also assumed that Lero would as well. Um, and as time went down... I guessed, and the same exact Lero, same exact location. unsurprisingly, as a, as a good rural round player, got there and as well. Australian moment, as one would say. Great job by both our players, Lero. Well, great. Fairly insignificant yes, there. Next round here, this was... Um, uh, what yeah, happened here? Presumably. So I ended up switching directions again here, and I go for the fast Small move. Road. Japan? Yes. Yeah, Lero's down to the info faster than me, but not too much faster. Here on we have screen. here a uh, bollard with the octagonal top, which you find in Tohoku, which is the north part of Japan. Um, and then everything else is fitting for Tohoku as well. Yep, there we go. Sendai. I don't even need to and confirm Sendai here. It's, it's that common that I just go for it. Row. And look at that. We were clicked in the exact same place there. That's kind of funny. Um, I ended up hedging a little bit further north. Closer here. It was a good decision. A bit more north and ends up closer. One point to his name. Indeed, hedging a little bit further north there could have actually changed the outcome of this duel, I believe. Very nearly, anyway. Okay. Bring it home. Now we have an Australia round next. This one's kind of fun. This one's got some interesting story behind it. Six. So I immediately know it's Queensland, but I gotta go for some extra info. Taken. I think the blue sticker is Victoria, I think. We'll see if the players agree. Okay, so we enter Gen 1. Or oh, Lyra does. We have Gen 1 coverage over here. Okay, so we have something here. Not too he useful. wants to get out of this coverage ASAP because you're not going to be able to do anything in this coverage. He goes back, goes a different way. You don't want to be stuck there. It's exactly Okay, so I get a green sign here. I get a green sign here. Let's see, and he's zooming okay, in. Okay, and, and, and I, I went straight past it, but I knew it said Thargaminda. Now, funnily enough, um, I remembered Thargaminda because it was like a. Quite an, in my previous workplace, it was quite an infamous place because it was like always the kind of client and Thargaminda was always causing problems. So I remembered that Thargaminda is in southern Queensland. Um, so probably the only time that my work actually helped out with, uh, with a round. Um, but uh, yeah, it, it, it was very stuck in my mind where that was. But that being said, I didn't want to just guess Thargaminda because obviously distances in Australia are quite far. And also, in small Australian towns, they tend to write the town name quite a lot, I feel, so I opted to spend my time Western looking. Queen, Western Queensland. And Could be. I got it there, Kanamala, on the bakery. So, go straight in and for it. In. He probably found in. Information. And we have pretty good signage here. We have the 49, and we have Burke, St. George, and Charleville. So, uh, yeah, we can see Charleville yeah, there. Yeah. And... Exactly. Oh, and St. George as well. Okay, they're all kind of signed in the same direction, even though they're not. Um, he's there. around the junction. But there's the 49. Oh, he does. Okay, okay. He's, found, he's found the town name, and now he needs to find the 49. He has the sign. Um, it could have been big damage, but it wasn't. Both players getting super close, and this will be another nothing burger. Yeah. Leroy has demonstrated some good um, info using skills there. It was easier for me, because I knew the town name. Oh, what a go. guess. By Zig and of course Lero, very close as well. I was hoping it's gonna be a miracle. I would say. Okay, next one miracle. here. Um, we're in Brazil. Brazil of the seven. phone codes. I um, points. also I did spread misinformation there in the last round. Yeah. So I'm a I uh, had learned the Brazil phone codes pretty well. I'm on brand at least. What was it? The blue sticker. Okay. It's not a Vic thing. Maybe it is um, a Queensland thing. I just okay. misremembered. Yeah. The the blue stick is common in Queensland and Victoria. We do have Brazil here. So obviously we're just going for that phone code. Lero makes it to it really quickly here. I um, didn't. So uh, time poles, pressure was on. Bottom poles. Honestly, Lero should have just guessed right there. Southern. Anyway, it didn't matter because I made it to the same sign, I think. Southern half. Just in a different direction. Exactly. Just gave everyone in the audience a heart attack there by zooming to South Africa. <laughs> yeah, I tend to do that a little bit. Uh, but okay. Both there we go. The... I, I remembered that it's two ones, uh, or two two, was it, uh, one, it was two two, was east of, uh, I think it was two two, east of Rio de Janeiro. Uh, east of Rio right now. 
a little more north of Lyra, closer there. Barely, though. Nice guess and by Alice, Lyra. Wins is nothing really too crazy. Going how Okay, okay, next one here. This is a crazy round. Misinformation spread. I'm ready. I, I I'm always ready for the. This is a Kodiak classic. I'll say. This is a Kodiak classic indeed. With the with the helmet. Okay. Kodiak classic. And he knows what I'm about to say. I know he's watching somewhere. Everyone does. Shout out Kodiak. Okay, so we had the Sulawesi roofs here. I'm pretty sure I'd registered that this should be Sulawesi. You get helmets in Indonesia. <laughs> yeah. By you by are, that time, um, I knew. But I, I definitely checked the roofs. So those ones are super consistent. <laughs> The roof style, Assuming and I was gonna go really for. I don't know. I I thought. Well, I thought I knew more about Indonesia and Kabupaten and stuff than Lero. So I thought, let me just try and find one, and maybe I'll remember um, where well, it would be. We'll find out soon, Trevor. Forty seconds on. The I get to like a bunch of good signage here. That didn't say anything yeah, there. Steadily pacing down the road. This didn't say anything. Information than Lero has. Yeah, Lero is still trapped in the forest. He needs to get down the road here. Okay, and I get to this. Okay, so here we have a bunch of place names here. I just remembered, the one I remembered was Wajo, um, and I remembered that Wajo is in central South Sulawesi, so yeah, wasn't quite sure about the rest of it, obviously there's a bunch of Kabupaten here, so it could have been like anywhere in South Sula. Um, Lero goes in the water, and I clicked down, not knowing where it was, um, and I 5k. <laughs> and I don't know why I... I had 10 more seconds. I should have taken a bit of a look more around. That was actually a poor tactics. Yeah. In all honesty, poor tactics. But I was 800 meters away. How crazy is that? Just plonking on the 5k. Um, again, another another moment that literally affected the um, the outcome of the duel, I think. Because that was 1,000 The city, points. and that's massive. 1,100 yeah. points. Yeah, yeah that did indeed up. affect the outcome of the duel. So... Trevor. Because on round number nine, we True, get an uh, easy New Zealand round. This will, I think this will be enough. Listen, I don't think very many people will have... Or no, none of these two players will probably get... Both of them will get close here. And, and he finds the Gisborne sign, and I found a different one. But it's free Gisborne. So yes, the Indonesia definitely <laughs> affected the outcome of the game. I got very fortunate. I was going to guess closer anyway. So it may, it may... Like, who knows where I would have clicked. But it may have been okay. But yeah, that was very fortunate. Oh, is it New Zealand? Ding dong! New Zealand. Ding dong, indeed. We both get the 5k. Both players. This is. Next to each other. Chuckling, having a moment, sharing some Wait, what's round 10? And we both give each other a smile. Oh, no. Shout outs to Lero. And we get round 10. This content. Watch how Lero plays round 10. This is very interesting. I was very. I was curious watching this one back. So watch how Lero plays round We're 10. In Russia. Here. We are in Russia, final round, 5.5x multi. It really is anybody's game when there's barely seven. points. Lero does not move. He does not move. He looks at the antenna and then guesses. He insta-sends. He insta-sends. Is it a vibe? Zigzag needs one good guess here. Lero is locked. Zigzag, where will you go? Okay, so at this moment, I'm observing the forest. I looked at the antenna. The antenna is one that you see around St. Petersburg. I knew that. I couldn't remember in the moment what Karelia, which is the one next to Finland here, that Lyra clicked. I couldn't remember what kind of antenna they have. I assumed it was the same one as uh, St. Petersburg, but I couldn't, I just couldn't quite bring it to mind. That being said, it was very rocky, so that reminded me of Karelia, and so did the forest. Uh, but that being said, I also thought it kind of looked like St. Petersburg, and I thought if he insta sent, maybe that's where it was, but ultimately I just had to guess where I thought it was, of course. Um, and so... Six seconds left. Obviously, so many points to that I needed to regain. Here. If he guesses right on top of him, I go oh, inside the lake. And, it's Is that no and it ends up being look at Lero's face. <laughs> yep. And unfortunately for Lero, I mean, okay, let's work it out. With the, with the the Indonesia, it wasn't. It didn't have to be super close, but. Yeah, I needed to be relatively close there, and uh, Water Hedge, wow. in the wrong state, Lero's in the correct state there. Honestly, Lero's very unlucky to pull a Russia there, even though it's one of his best countries. Um, he's very unlucky because if it was just a smaller country, if it was an urban round, um, then, you know, it would have been, it would have been a, a, a GG. But, as it stands, I made a nice guess. I think, um, well... I mean, that's just, that, that was just, you know, 
it was unlucky for Lero, good play by me. Um, and again, a bit lucky as well, because I wasn't quite sure, I think, if you run that, that round back, I don't know, like, I feel like it definitely looks like where Lero clicked as well, but it was a bit healing. You do get a little, quite a bit of heals around this, it's like, maybe, I don't know, you probably get them as well here. Uh, suffice to say, I was pretty lucky, so let's head through to the next one. Okay, no move. This one kind of goes get poorly ready. for me. Game two of three. Zigzag in the lead. See a cow. First and round here, we have these kind of Question. stick fences, which are coming to the northeast of Brazil. This is where. Um, and we actually run down the timing Sometimes. here the whole way. Uh, because it is kind of a nondescript round, and you may as well take your time, but we guess the same place, basically. Steady round one, as is often the case. Look like those kind of green hills that you get near the coast before it gets very round dry. Next high, one here, no like, poles are just weird, so one Germany made sense to me. Here. Not too sure what this next one is. Does obviously Like, you just like get Europe. all kinds of pole variations in Germany and Austria, so I thought it was Germany. Do you go Bulgaria? Definitely consider the other stuff, because the road was kind of poor quality, or, though. Where do you go here? We have some windmills. Time runs out. I guess. I guess Lero got it correct here, maybe based on the wind turbines. But two German guesses here. I end up quite a bit further south than him. And it's yeah. Lero that's close. Really nice guess by Lero there. My guess is also fine. Definitely acceptable. So, a good guess uh, by but Lero. I move behind Lero. Lero. So this will be in a. Okay. Let's talk about this round, guys. Okay, so what do we see? We see... By the way, this is... I I, I, I found the 5k of this round. It's Panoi Deed. So hard, bro. There were five new coverages on this location. Uh, bef after this one. They literally picked it so that it would be as hard as possible. Um, so that you couldn't see... Well, they picked a, a really cloudy day so that you couldn't see the mountains. Um, but okay. Well, battle, but anything is possible. Round three, what am I... So we had this, like, so... Looking yeah. at... We'll see what Trevor was saying, actually. Did Trevor know the like country? A... Stand up. He didn't say anything. Please do. It's North America. I think you have Canada. Okay. He says North America. I think you get Canada. Now, like, uh, sometimes you remember your thought process on a round. Sometimes you don't. But I distinctly remember thinking Canada first thing, which is crazy because I ended up going the wrong continent here. But I do, I distinctly, I, I look, if, if I remember correctly, I looked down at the car and that's when I thought it might be Canada because it wasn't the American around. style car. Inconspicuous. Uh, this cones am I fibbing? Let's see if North I look America, at that. Definitely. I was confused. US, so I'd probably go Canada. There is I'm pretty sure I looked down at car. Yeah, I checked car and it has the, the jagged, like blur so that means canada not us if you're in north america and then i'm just looking so the thing is in canada i just couldn't think of anywhere that looks like this because the vegetation was very weird it looked asian to me um and also specifically the way this was like so weather beaten this pipe well the, the existence of the pipe looked asian to me and specifically how like not mossy but how like moist it looked. It looked like it's like always rained on. So yeah. Zigzag just scanning. I should have looked more at the infrastructure. I, I looked to, I was going to NMPZ mode. I should have like tried to pick out, you know, what exactly, you know, the buildings look like and that kind of thing because. Two brilliant no move players here, head to head. I wouldn't call myself a brilliant no move player. Um vying for the title of King of Australia. Where will yeah, so 10 seconds left. Go. I haven't opened my map yet. Okay. And I zoom out and here. He's going Taiwan. Yeah. So I um, considered Taiwan here because we had the yellow lions and because I thought the vegetation was so weird. Um, and I realized that I was very unhappy with the guess i like i knew it probably was wrong but i just couldn't think of where it was now on top of that we did not have an antenna here so taiwan in gen 3 should always have an antenna unless it's a trekker or something so i can't remember if i thought it was a trekker if i considered that but yeah it's um it's very it's very difficult to say he was looking at a water head what i remember thinking okay. we have lero in ontario now respect to lero for getting the right country but to me, this doesn't look like Ontario. He's also 
He's also just big hedging, because we have water, but he's clicking in the middle of a forest. So, um, yeah, oh, obviously wow. time is, runs this out. Is game game. This is game, Trevor, but who and is it was Vancouver. Ironically, the place I went straight after the tournament. <laughs> it's BC. And I don't even think, since he had such a bad oh, BC error. Wow. 1.3k, I get away with one there. Again, me getting lucky in this series. Um, um, yeah, what can I say? Like, we couldn't see the mountains because it was so cloudy. Normally, you'd be able to see the mountains on that on that round. Um, and then I just got carried away by the vegetation instead of looking at the buildings and such. So, and I guess. even if you look at the buildings, they're very nondescript because it's an industrial area. It's near the air airport there. I found the 5K, but yeah. Yeah. That is a round. Wow. Lucky I was not tilted or anything. North American um, hair shop. Then we have a boring Vermont round. Curl. I got a few Me Vermont wrote. New Hampshire rounds in this tournament. Next, Next one, one here. Black. So we had like kind of reddish soil. We had the Philippines car. We had this sugar cane. Sugar cane, you default to Negros, especially if you see a lot of it. Uh, on and the then with the rolling landscape and the, the red pro soil, oh. I thought Southwest. It's a bit unfortunate for me that Lyra didn't move away from the correct answer here because I was, uh, I could have gained a lot of points, Six. but he sticks with Negros, which Lyra moves last second. he was considering some R and stuff, but ultimately you kind of have to get Negros second, with the landscape, I think. Not look like it right now. It's, it's a big death. Also, one thing about the time one round, I, uh... I'm not sure if there were any Taiwan rounds for the political reasons. I'm not sure if there are any Taiwan rounds in the um, in these tournaments. So I asked the devs after, are there actually any Taiwan locks? And they said there are, but it's hard to pick Taiwan locks because they just always have the polls. I think they were fibbing to me. I think they were lying to me, to be honest with you. I don't I don't remember seeing any Taiwan in these tournaments. Do you guys? I mean, I'll be interested if someone... Uh, sees um there weren't any for the whole tourney yeah that makes sense to me someone said the other regionals had taiwan yeah so who knows i mean taiwan's a small country could have just not shown up maybe they're not they're not lying to me uh but personally i felt that uh it was a bad guess just because of that uh reason as well uh, but who knows if i would have thought of vancouver otherwise i just was not sure i may have just hedged north america um Regardless, uh, this round was pretty crazy. Uh, Lyra gets one of the, the guesses of the whole tournament, in my opinion, on this round. What? It was Cambodia. Uh, places uh, are there. That's what I was thinking, I don't know. Oh, wow. Okay, Trevor, I'm going to get up for this one, too. I think it... The sun's south. I just haven't seen very many things like this in, in Cambo. Zigzag going... South, Cambo, is that? Yeah. I'm into Cambodia. Lyra doesn't open his map until like the very last moment on this round, I think. Yeah. We do have mountains north too. So yeah, the Western Cambo. Lero taking a bit more time before he opens his map. Studying, quiet. 20 seconds now. Zigzag really refining his marker. His time Probably here. has a good grasp of where he's at. Hero yet to open his map. Where will he go? He's going to Mexico. Oh, okay. Here we go. I don't, know, I don't know what it is. I really don't know. This what is a going. crazy guess by Lero, by the way. Five seconds left. This could be game. This could be match. Which will it be? It's Mexico. Oh. What a guess by Lero. What an insane guess, bro. I mean, there was not much going on in that round. You could see the hills in the background. You could see the palms. I made the standard guess and Lyra made the correct guess, so there Huge. you go. We will what a guess to NMP. NMPZ. Let's go. Lyra, I mean, our group was just so stacked. Lyra make uh, Lyra's very unfortunate not to be in the World Cup, if you ask me. Not only because of the rounds, but just if you just like look at him skill wise. Okay, NMPZ. My favorite game mode. Lero probably uh, more of a no moving player, I think, but also plays a lot of NMPZ as well. Let's get it. Home. Let's get on into it though. It's gonna be beating. And, well, he has a big heart to beat. Let's do it. First round here. Uh, this is a fun round. 
I stand up in anticipation. <laughs> and so round we immediately four. have like a pretty nondescript round here, but we have the car with the, and you can see the, uh, what's it called the like uh, driver's um, steering wheel peeking through. So that's what made me know it was like going to be Ireland or UK. One. My, no, my initial vibe was actually... No, the, 360. Yeah, my initial vibe was immediately that this is actually France or uh, Denmark. Just one still image. A, or maybe France. I click on two of those. Eventually, uh, I do like figure out the steering wheel. I'm not sure if Lero had seen that or if he just vibed it because it was definitely a vibeable round for sure. Like Ireland. I like... <laughs> I, okay, this is what I like. I like France, Ireland, Northern Ireland. This is... E, I don't... And he's locking in Ireland. In. I think it's a good guess. Both players probably go Ireland here, I think. We both get it. Next one here. Uh, it immediately felt Baltic to me. Couldn't quite confirm it, but just like the way the trees were and the way the buildings were felt Baltic. And then we had very sunny, which you just see very sunny a lot in Latvia. So that's what I thought. I do like... Latvia either. cam, as we used Gin. to call it in 2022. Um, yeah. Mixing them up. Originally found. Lero... Just a bit south. Five seconds until we find out who's close up. And this Lero's is exactly. in Lithuania there. Not a bad guess, of course. Latvia. I was pretty happy with my Latvia region guess there as well, by the way. Like, a lot of times you just click over here in Latvia because that's where most of the coverage is. But I low-key got Western Latvia there. Not too bad. Round three. Maybe you go okay, next round here, just talk higher. We can skip past this. This is just know there a lot. We'll That's why they have slightly it. Slightly further away. And this could be something bigger here. In Indonesia, as it looks. Next one here, we have Sulawesi pole top. I think you can see a Sulawesi pole top somewhere here. Regardless, I thought it's Sulawesi. It's very dry. We have ocean uh, east. Yeah, that was it. You go. Yes. There wasn't much to say here. Like, I just kind of continually hedge it. Scanning the entire map. Um, 10 seconds. And I, I moved close to this. I thought, like, there's a lot of dry coverage out here, so I thought it's most likely, but it could have also been up here or something, so... Just kind of go for my best possible guess. He goes Gorontalo, which yeah, can first. look like that there, too. The 2.5x, we could see some points here. It's a good guess by Zigzag. Not great, but good. 600. 600. <coughs> Deep breath for both players here. Lero looks locked in. I mean, to be fair, that's a pretty great guess, actually. Thank you, Barlow. Okay, <coughs> here we are. Big cacti normally means um, it's Baja California. Can be elsewhere. Can be Sonora as well, but normally Baja California, especially with this landscape. Yeah. Uh, I mean, kind of a nothing okay, round. Um, this I'm pretty sure Lero moves like off a worse guess to being much closer here or maybe it's me who moves off a better guess and makes it's a worse guess trevor how many rounds are we going to see here brother we might see a couple more after this one <laughs> but you Mixed could still, you could if if lero goes north baja here you could pick up point eight. i mean they're still pretty separate that's, quite a that's right he's 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 quite a bit further away here it's and then he switches unless down lero wants to go more south here is he gonna click on this road it's going east west three x will he click it or will he stay north who's closer he closed he does switch a little more south. Yeah. So it could Locking have been good it. damage. Who's, who's right? It's... Could have been good damage for me, actually. I would have been closer. Lero here picking up a couple points, and that's actually decent enough. 800. Yeah. Brings Evening me below. The scores. Yeah, that's pretty even at the stage now, just PZ. That is such a small lead to have. Round six. Next one here. Uh, I remember we had a weird copyright. I think it was 2020. This is what we have to work with. Should be um, going which I remember being quite common in Entro Rios, as far as I remember. It also looked a lot like Uruguay. So, yeah, that was my logic here. The specific road, I should say. No 360, no moving. Zigzag locks in fast. Lero spends a bit more time. It actually was like downtown Uruguay there. In himself. It's good damage. Let's play another game of where is this? Next one here, I mean, I feel like without the rubbish and without the fence here, this could have been a... Or without the houses, like, with just the road and everything, it could have really passed for Australia.
But with everything, it pretty much had to be Latin America, even though there are so many eucalyptus trees here. <laughs> the... I don't know. I definitely thought, um, Argentina, but I thought Uruguay was possible. Eucalyptus... Or Uruguay, maybe. I end up just plonking Buenos Aires and... Lira is actually over in Uruguay, just in case. But it should just be Argentina here. Um, but I thought maybe it would just actually be in Buenos Aires. Lira winding the clock down. Moves his marker slightly, zigzag. Could have, if I had have just hedged middle of BA, it could have almost been a win there. However, still remains closer, 500 points. Still good damage. That lead is growing, Trevor, as we head. Good uh, you... lead here. Next one here is just a boring Bangladesh, even though at this qualify. point, at this point in the duel, I could literally win on Bangladesh, but at this, it was still a boring round. 0.5 I hedge it slightly closer here, ends up being just south of Dakar. Oh, zigzag once again, slightly closer. 700. So yeah, if I, if I happened to 5k, I could have won the duel there, but 38 yeah, points whatever. Over the... Needs a good guess here. Next one here, very interesting round. Uh, the architecture kind of fell a bit further north here. Um, but the uh, fence fell a bit further south. I feel like this is that kind of fence that people talk about being quite common in the central east, like in the Appalachians, that kind of area. Yeah. Um, yeah. The, and we, Lero needs to claw things back. Lero plonks. And in some fashion, he needs tucky. to score some points. Some big points. I also plunked Northern Kentucky. Zigzag. Answered ourselves. We have a Kentucky zoom in here by Lero. He's locking Kentucky. <sighs> Ten seconds, Trevor. Five x damage. Both players in Kentucky. Both in Kentucky, but with the multi. I don't know. Zigzag's closer. Uh, I really could have gone or higher there. I could have gone Southern Ohio at least, but unfortunately I didn't. Uh, it just kind of looked more like Kentucky to me anyway. Um, again, but yeah. it's a game of consistency, Trevor. We've said it before, we say it again. I really had definitely outplayed Lyra in this duel at this stage, but nothing mattered. Round 10, multi because round 10 was Russia. Trevor, where we at? Was NMPZ Russia in a rural round with 5.5 times damage? Literally, it doesn't matter what your HP is. It does not matter. Good question. That was Russia. Russia, Eastern Europe. There's a, there's a chance here for Lero to clutch up. I was very disappointed to see Russia turn up, admittedly. Especially because that's the strength of Lero's. Because if he doesn't, he loses, he goes zero to two. Lero needs one, and he doesn't even need that good of a guess. You're slightly closer here in five. Yeah, MG, uh, MGLN, I, I think this was indeed the one. Like, apparently the people upstairs were going kind of crazy on this one because it was a very hard one to watch. Five x damage in Russia. You make one good guess. You okay, so game. immediately Alira goes down in perm. On the other side of this equation, though, Zigzag, he's probably not happy to see a big country like this. He also needs to make as good a guess as Sibirsk. possible. Lero going over, er, hovering Nova Sibirsk. Zigzag more west near Kazan. Not sure if you had. I literally thought it could be anywhere. Like I, I, I really thought that this could potentially be East Russia near China. Um, I didn't really know where to go, so I just kind of hedged it near Moscow. Like if you don't know, um, yeah. Has, or he's outside. It's a. Well, I feel like it's always a reasonable guess. Now, yeah. In Moscow. We have two totally separate guesses here. Twenty seconds, Trevor. Wait, is Lyra gonna move his marker? Or is he gonna stay? It's. I don't know where. It's his fifteen seconds, and he still has the guess on the five k. Lyra. Here is currently. Trevor. And, and he switches Kras. I think that was just hedging everything east. I'm not really sure, um, because Krasnoyarsk itself would probably be mostly Gen four, but. Yeah. He moved it. Who's right? It's someone's game here. NNPZ will go. He almost goes back. He has his. He has his crosshair. He has his mark. He has his uh, cursor on the five k, but doesn't click it. And he went away. 
And as it happens, Western Russia, being a lot smaller than Eastern Russia, I end up being closer by a miracle. Just again. Oh. Closer to the money. Deals a knockout blow. Uh, yeah, you can see me saying you did because he said I had the 5k. Um, yeah. And yeah. There you go. What a Maybe, as Fimba says, to me, he thought it was perm, normal guess, and then sent Novosibirsk coverage, uh, sent Leso Sibirsk coverage, May coverage, but in Kraz as a Hail Mary, Hail Mary thought. I think um, that maybe he thought I would go perm, so he he hedged away just in case, like to, to try and make up the lost HP or whatever. Um, I just wasn't, I just didn't get the, I just didn't remember that it should be the perm spring coverage or with that dark, darker soil as well. Anyway, it didn't matter. I took the win. Performance so consistent against, a, across that. And there we go. That was against Lira, my win. Um, after the game, um, Karania actually just said to me, uh, your guesses on Russia in round 10 both times were worse. <laughs> he just said that, which is actually probably objectively true. Def especially the second one, but maybe even the first one as well. It could indeed be true that my two Russia guesses were worse. Uh, that being said, I did deserve the win on NMPZ, I think, so that's at least nice. And I got lucky on the moving, so sometimes it's got to go like that, you know? Um, and, uh, I was, uh, I was happy, uh, very happy to have beaten Lyra. I think Lyra could have won the entire tourney. I strongly believe that. Um, but yeah, getting round, r Russia round 10 twice is also pretty crazy. Um, but yeah, there you go. That was, that was my series against Lyra. Next up was Karania, the eventual champion. Uh, but yeah, that'll be in the next video. So thank you all for watching and stay tuned for that. Goodbye.